Hey, man, say, man, what's the play, man? We on season three, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really come up with the other little catchphrase. I can't say season two, what it do no more, but we're going to keep this shit running, you know what I'm saying? We got a special guest right here on the 806, so I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. So who do we have here today? You sitting with Squawk Boys two times, two times ENT, like it or love it, and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you coming and sitting down right here on the brink of our... Love in the club, um, concert and party at Club Lit, you know what I'm saying, with Mike Fresh Fresh and Concert, you know what I'm saying. Glad to uh to, to have you a part of it because you're gonna also be on stage. Yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. I'm glad to be a part of it, you know. I'm a Hollywood nigga. We fifteen minutes outside a little bit, but everybody knows what's so. up. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? So for those that don't know um who you are, where you from, you know what I'm saying, where you from? You said Hollywood, Texas? Yeah, I'm from Hollywood, Texas, otherwise known as Slayton, Texas. College Street, baby, niggas I already know. You know what I'm saying? We get it in and we get it out. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So me, I didn't even know. When you said Hollywood, I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't heard of that city out here. You know what I'm saying? Well, well where's that at? You know what I'm saying? But like, all right, so like, is that is that the nickname for Slayton? Yeah. I, know, I, know a few, I know know a few Slayton niggas myself. Yeah, yeah. It's a nickname for Slayton. All right, Slayton niggas know Slayton is Hollywood, but it's an era of Slayton. And niggas get that shit confused all the time. If they wasn't in that era, they probably don't really know where the fuck that shit came from. Fortunately, I was involved in that era. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So have you ever seen the, um, the Starter Pack meme or the Starter Pack uh, post before? Nah, nah, nah. I don't really be on social media like that, my boy. Okay, so it's like it's like this meme. It has four squares on it, right? So in them squares you put what's stereotypically associated with a city uh, or the things that are stereotypically like what you need to survive in that city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So let me get your uh, 2023 Slayton, Texas starter pack. Let me get four times. Man, first thing them niggas need is some money. Second thing them niggas need is a motherfucking plan. Yeah. Other than that, it's on you, my boy. <laughs> it, 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 I ain't real. here to feed the world, my boy. I'm just here to make it myself. Yeah. Shit, I'm just a Hollywood nigga that made it out. That's real. I'm thankful. So you said, you said the Hollywood... Um, I, it's not a nickname, but that's that was an era in Slayton, right? Yeah. So go ahead and tell us about it. Talk about it a little bit. I mean, that era in time, it was a it was a lot of people kicking and a lot of love around. Everybody grew up together. Get what I'm saying? And that's where that shit come from. We called ourselves Hollywood because the squad was filled with stars. No matter what you did, we had to something going on. Get what I'm saying? We had hoopers, we had rappers, we had niggas that did other shit. I don't want to speak about that, but you know. Niggas come out, niggas enjoy themselves all the time. And that's real. Everywhere we go, it's a motherfucking show. Hollywood in the dump. On me. So, like, being, I guess, is Slate considered itself a part of the 806? Yeah, it's, it's still part of the 806. It's still the little big city limits. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <coughs> like, I guess even the perception between cities is like, you think, like, love it or not love it, but Slate slept on or maybe overlooked or, you know what I'm saying? Man, I like, wouldn't necessarily say slept on because she didn't ain't meant too many niggas to make it about that bitch, but a couple of niggas were actually made to get what I'm saying. It's just one of them hidden places where diamonds is always found. You know what I'm saying? When you stay in Slate and you understand, nigga, it's diamonds there. I stayed there. Yeah. I'm a diamond from that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's the way I kinda generally feel about the eight oh six. That's why I started the eight oh six, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I uh when I first moved out here, I didn't know there was gonna be as much talent, especially being a nigga from like a bigger city, moving from Dallas and I'm like, man, I'm in the motherfucking country, bumfuck Texas, and then you come across niggas that you like, you niggas got you some go. Yeah. And that and that's and that's and that's, and that's 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 even that's even on some real shit where like I've told people even that statement before that like if Lubbock was the size of Dallas or another city, this whole would really be on the map for the type of shit that goes on in the street. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but shit, like, I, I believe to myself that talent is found everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go look for it. And if you look for it, you'll find it eventually. Yeah, you know, yeah. So what kind of, like, made you get into the music? Like, or when did you kind of transition into that? Man, I really started in freestyle circles. That's where this shit started for me, nigga. Easily over motherfucking a decade ago. I've always had a love for music. I just figured I'd give my shit to the world now. You know what I'm saying? They finally ready for it, I'd give it to them. Yeah. A couple of people done caught some previews, some niggas on the showcase, shout out YNW Quan, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna hit, you know what I'm saying? And keep, keep it real where it's at. Quan gave me a couple of slots in his shows. I enjoyed this shit. Yeah. That niggas lit. You know what I'm saying? So what was some of your like inspiration that um growing up? Like who'd you listen to growing up anyway? 
man, I'm a real road fanatic. I started at Road Charlie Boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was on real down south southern shit. Yeah. UGK type shit, like all the, all the good shit. I'm a, I'm a real 90s baby, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got a good dose of all types of music. I pull inspiration a lot from a lot of places, but my writing skill, yeah. I got to get it to my partner, K-Ray. He the one made me start actually sitting down and taking this shit serious when he finally heard what I had. And I started recording then. Yeah. So then what kind of made you want to be like, all right, I'm going to, uh, more than just even be musically inclined, I'm about to take this shit all the way serious. I can actually got it. I can actually make this shit. It wasn't me that decided to take this serious. It was my brother. My nigga Eddie Kane decided that he wanted to take this shit serious and said that I got the talent and I ain't going to let my nigga down. Shout out to Eddie Kane, you know what I'm saying? Hold, 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 thing down in the back, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the people that we even spoke to, even liaison on, getting the show together type shit. Yeah. Um, do you want to speak to how important it is to, like, having a good team? Because nobody can do it by themselves. I don't necessarily call my people a team. It's my family. Yeah. It's all we never had, and it's going to be that. If we don't push each other to do better, then who the fuck will? Real talk. That's real. That's real. So what uh what do y'all got planned for this twenty twenty three? We in the we in the second month going into the third month. We almost done with a whole quarter of the year. This whole moving faster than we think. You know what I'm saying? April first, New Mexico. <laughs> April first, New Mexico, my brother got something set up here being the works for it. Y'all can check his social media for it. I shared it. My social media handle is Squaquito Jones. Yeah. So how'd you come up with that name? Ah man, I used to kick it with the Mexican partners. You know what I'm saying? My niggas deem me Squaquito and it's been that way ever since. <laughs> so, it's Squaquito, uh, so what's the rap name? What's the rap name? Can we, can we even me and you talk about like, all right, what, what I call you, you know what I'm saying? I call you this, <coughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? I, do I, how the fuck do I spell it? You know what I'm saying? I spell it like this. The rap name is Squawk Box, two times, and it's S-Q-U-A-K-B-O-X-2-T-I-M-E-Z. Now, the rap name is my name, but everybody in the city know me as Squawk, and it's cool. It don't even really matter. I'm a humble nigga. If you see me, it's going to be the same love. If you know me, you know me. <laughs> and it's how I love always. Now, it ain't no misconception about the name because everybody know it. It refer to me as however, but preferably Squawk Box. Yeah. Yep. So, um... I don't know if you keep up with popular, popular, uh, popular news and things like that, but everybody probably knows this. Gunna, uh, Gunna took a plea deal where he had to speak on Young Thug. No, I can't even accept it. I, I don't even want the question, bro. <laughs> I can't accept it. Nigga. We don't do no ratting on this scene. <laughs> oh, me, we don't do no ratting on this scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That 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 was different to hear, you know what I'm saying? Um, just even him on that. Then um so recently Bam Man Kevo, have you heard of him before? Nah. Um, he he's not even a rapper, like he got he more of a scammer, right? So he bought a feature from him before he went to jail. Okay. He spent a hundred thousand. Yeah. And now he's he talking about he want his money back because of that situation. What would you do if you were in that situation? Hey man. If I bought the feature before all this shit happened, my nigga, I would have no choice but to vote that song. It just never be heard. Take your loss and move on. I can't say it no other way. Like business wise, that's the way I'm gonna handle it. I wouldn't even ask the man for my money back. The money's gone, it's spent. You spent it. You done. That's it. <laughs> like a hundred bands? A <laughs> hundred bands. Fuck. He say the feature. You know what I'm saying? Um, so even... Uh, even uh, Funkmaster Flex, have you heard of him? Yeah, Funkmaster Flex. Like recently he said he's... Um, so I guess in the past he decided that he wasn't going to play music from certain artists, right? Uh -huh. Then he said, all right, no, I am going to play music from Takashi. I am going to play music from Gunna. Mm. Because more of these niggas are snitches than you know it. I mean, I believe that niggas can be snitches, bro, but you know you got snitches everywhere, bro. You got to watch out for yourself, watch out for your people. If you protect your people, your people protect you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, for him to even choose to play that music, that's a personal choice, but I just, I can't fuck with it. 
none of that shit ever get played with me. Like, and I, I used to fuck with Gunner before this incident happened. Like, and I couldn't. It gets no play now. Like, yeah. So even back to your music, when I came to the club the other day, you played me, you played me a few tracks that had a few, you know what I'm saying? More, uh, more notable features than like most artists out here, especially for like breaking onto the scene. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about that. I mean, that was just that once again, that was just a, a incident that my brother put me in. You know what I'm saying? My brother wake me up in the morning and say, hey, we finna go get in the studio with Ruggie. Let's go. So I'm like, cool. I ain't got no songs. My brother say, well, fuck it. You got 30 minutes to an hour to write one. I write one. Turned out to be a nice little jam. But... That situation made me want to do more features with niggas. Unfortunately, I just ain't been able to reach out to niggas. I've reached out to a couple of people. Hopefully, I can get... I don't even want to speak on it until it's actual factual. But I got another feature in the work right now. We can. Be can. Yeah, shout out to Big Ken. Yeah, shout out Big Ken. I'm oh, God. I got another feature in the work with Big Ken. Nose is getting redid. And I just, I just want to continue to work with little big artists, bro. But I just need everybody to be on the same page with me when it comes to making the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping. I'm putting on the work or the money. They can come on with it. If they need to, if they need to get paid for the feature, come holler at me. I'll pay you for it. But it better be fucking good because if it's not, it's going to get voted. I enjoy working with people, though. Really, really enjoy working with people. The time that I spent in the studio with Ruggie and Juan D was fucking wonderful. But once again, my brother put me on it and I enjoy this shit because he gonna push me to go at every point that I'm gonna go as hard as I fucking can. That will be on an album coming up this summer though. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna finally unvote that. That will be on an album coming up this summer though. What's it gonna be called? Me and my brother ain't even discussed the name for this shit yet. We'll let y'all know though. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let y'all know though. So while we talking about, um, we are talking about love of artists. Yeah. Um, one question I do like to ask everybody because it, it, it lets me know new artists, but lets me know where people kind of at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is our popular? Give me your top five 806 artists out right now, 2023. Look, man, and I ain't even gonna show no hate to no little big artists when I give them this top five. Do you feel me? And Freddie Rod don't be mad at me, but at least you still on my top five, baby. Look, we gonna give it to Stunt, Parkway T, Kaylee, me. Oh, fuck, I can't even put Ruggie out this. Let me get Ruggie his slot and take me off that bitch. And we gonna give Freddie Rod. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for Lovey to have so much talent, why do you think um, it kind of hasn't gotten to where... It could it could be or hasn't gotten um, as much notoriety or attention as much as it can. People just ain't putting in the work. But you know, the stun made it possible for niggas to be able to show that if they put in the work, they can get in a different place. And I'm showing no hate in this interview at all, nigga. He showed niggas it's possible. Put the fucking footwork in and you'll get where the fuck you want to be. And that's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you still working on, I guess, the title of the next project. Um, how many songs do you think might be on it? Or what do you got like towards it right now? Yeah, how many songs you feeling, brother? Just 12. It'll be 12 on that album. We'll get y'all 12. <laughs> and if y'all not jamming that motherfucker out something, we can do our jobs, right? <laughs> Let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? So what do, uh what what do you got in store for us tomorrow? Man, I got a nice little lineup for y'all niggas. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> I'ma do my motherfucking job. You gotta pop out to see that show. You know what I'm saying? You got to come out to see. It. And if that ain't where the fuck you at, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Club fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> We get lit and club lit tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Mike Fresh live in concert. We got Squat Box going to be on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? YWA Quan, the Go Getters, Fed Baby. Um, and also, uh, I, think, I don't even remember the other group, but 
Um, we're not gonna leave them out, but we do also have a special guest that's gonna be popping out in addition to that with the three hundred dollar twerk contest. You know what I'm saying? The bitch is gonna be live over there in the little depot tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, so after this interview, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're wrapping it right now. If we walked outside and somebody popped up in the time machine from 1984 or even 1994 or shit, even you know what I'm saying? 2014. You know what I'm saying? They say I'm in your world right now. Let me get one piece of game. And what would you tell them? Save your fucking money. Hustle hard every fucking day. And follow your fucking dreams. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So, for the new fans, the old fans, and the hate motherfuckers, for those are the true fans, where can they find you on social media? You know what I'm saying? Keep up with your music and um, just kind of continue on with you. We're going to be releasing on our platforms again. So, once again, we'll keep y'all updated. But as for right now, it is sb2t.ent. And that's all. Uh, yes, sir. Great interview, man. We're going to jump this hoe off tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Live at 9 o'clock at Club Lit, you know what I'm saying? Come watch everybody, you know what I'm saying? Peace out. But then also to you, you know what I'm saying? This is a great start to many more uh, on the 806, and I appreciate you for coming out. Yes, sir.